called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, according to the Bible, as you are God's chosen people. That's God's right. chosen people, all the Israelites. Right. And we're here to teach our people the truth according to the Bible. So That's let's right. open up with John chapter 7. We are going to go verse 38. We got to teach our people the truth according to the Bible. Brothers, sisters, y'all come on over. Learn your history. Learn your nationality. Learn what God expects of you as an Israelite man and woman. Read what you got. This is the book of John, chapter 7 and verse 38. Read. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. You know what the Lord said? He that believeth in him, out of his belly shall flow living waters. So what is that talking about? Once you so-called black man, Hispanic man, and Native American man, once you repent and come back to God's laws, you will be able to teach God's laws. That's right. You will be on this side of the campsite, not on that side of the campsite. Hey, how you doing, brother? What's your name, man? Jay. Your name, Jay. How you doing, Jay? My name, brother. My name, Mike. Have you ever heard this before? Did you know, according to the Bible, Look at this sign right here. According to the Bible, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. We're God's chosen people. Did you know that, brother? Come check this sign right here. What do you see? This is what the Lord calls us in the scriptures. And this is what the world calls us. Us so-called American blacks, we've been called all kinds of things. We've been called Negroes, Afro-Americans. We've been called color. We've been called African-Americans today, or American blacks. So what do you see yourself on this side? as what you've been called today. You don't see anything up here what you've been called? I got tired. You don't see yourself on this side anywhere? In these words? So if I ask you your nationality, what would you tell me your nationality is? If I said, bro, what's your nationality? What's your ethnicity? What would you say? You don't know? Hey, you know what? That's better than saying something outside of the Bible. So we're gonna, we're gonna show you according to the Bible and the so-called blacks are the Israelites according to the Bible. They're from the tribe of Judah. And we're gonna show you the records in the scriptures that bear witness to these curses. So just open up with Deuteronomy chapter 28. Let's go to start at verse 15 for our brother. 15, yep. 28, 15. Tell me something, sir. When you hear these, when you hear these curses coming out in the Bible, tell me, does your people in America Bear witness to what you're about to hear, right? And I want you to check this sign out as we come out with these scriptures. Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Read. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Lord is talking to his people, the Israelites. He's saying... If we break his commandments, all these curses will come upon us and overtake thee. And one of those curses that we can bear witness with right here in America is slavery. You seen this before right here? So you know our people went into slavery, right? We're going to show you that prophecy that came to pass according to the Bible because we broke God's laws. And hey, what's going on, bro? The honor board. Come check us out, man. Start at verse 68. We're going to get some curses for our brothers. And I want to know if your spirit bear witness with the spirit of the Bible if this did not happen to our people. Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now you familiar with the story of Moses and the Israelites when they got delivered out of Egypt under Pharaoh's uh, bondage? So the Lord said he's going to bring us to Egypt again with ships. But we got to find out what does that word Egypt mean. Let's get that in Exodus 20. I'm going to show you what the word Egypt means. Read what you got. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. Come on. I am the Lord thy God, which hath brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. The Lord says he's going to bring us out of the house of bondage. That's what Egypt means. What's another word for bondage? Slavery. That's what it's talking about. So the Lord says he's going to bring us back into slavery for breaking his commandments by slave ships. Watch this. Let's go to verse 6. We're going to show you the prophecy, brother. Read what you got. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into slavery again. With what? With ships. Come on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, Come on. thou shalt see it no more again. Mm -hmm. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So God said we won't see our homeland anymore again because we broke his laws. What are some laws that we broke? We're killing each other. We're hating on each other. We're selling drugs to each other. We're destroying each other. 
God, those things go contrary to God's laws. And he said you're going to bring us into slavery again with ships. And we'll be sold into our enemies. What other people on this planet were sold on auction blocks here in America? You name them. Who, who, who else? Nobody else. This prophecy is talking about our people going into bondage on slave ships sold over here in America on slave auction blocks. That's right. That port came right here in 1619 Virginia. Started right here in the slave trade and spread all throughout North America. And trust me, when I say North America, I'm not talking about just the United States. That's going over to Canada too. That's part of North America. Read what you got. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. And no man shall buy you. That buy you is an old term for no man will be able to redeem you or save you. Why? Because this is a punishment. So the only way we can be redeemed or saved is we return back to God's laws. There's only one redeemer. We're going to get that for you. Luke chapter 1 and verse 68. And we're going to show you how do you get redeemed. We're going to show you how to keep the laws of God according to Bible. Luke chapter 1 and verse 68. This is what's going to redeem us. But we're always talking about reparations. We've had a lot of leaders before time that tried to help us, but they failed. How do we know they failed? Because we're still here in America. You pay taxes, right? You work, so you're still subject to pay taxes. You have to pay for water. Water's a free resource across the whole entire globe. It rains all the time. So why do we have to pay for water? Why do we have to pay for housing and things like that? Because we're subjected to our enemies that brought us over here on cargo slave ships. But this is one of the redeemers. Read what you got. This is the book of Luke, chapter 1 and verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Of who? Of Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of these 12 tribes of Israel, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Come on. For he hath visited and redeemed his people. He hath visited and redeemed his people. How is he going to redeem his people? Let's go to Matthew. Let's go to Matthew. Give me chapter 15, verse 24. I want to build on something with you right quick, brother. I want to build on something with you right quick. Because a lot of our people, especially the Christian church, you see them all through our community, especially in the hood. You see four or five churches on one corner, but it's still drug dealing, it's still gang banging, it's still prostitution, it's still fornication running rampant in our community. The church has done nothing for our people. They think the laws are done away with. But God said he's going to come back for his people. We're going to show you that again. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, and verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Brothers, sisters, y'all hear it? God said he's only coming back for his people from the tribe of Israel. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Nephtali, Asher, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, God will only come back for y'all. But he's only come back for the ones that's keeping his commandments. I'm going to get Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 2. So, ha have you all ever heard this before? Have you ever heard y'all were Israelites before? Sister, have you ever heard that you was an Israelite? No. I'm going to show you. God says he's only come back to the ones that's keeping his commandments. Everyone else is going to be put to death. Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 2. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 2. Keep my commandments and live. You hear what God said? He said, keep my commandments and live. Why are we dying like men on this earth right now? Because we broke God's commandments. We went against the Lord our God's commandments. This, that's why this happened to our people. That's why today we're still being gunned down in the streets. We have the poorest education system. We have the poorest food in our grocery stores. Our land is defiled. Everything we put into our body destroys our body and also our mind. So we have to come back to God's laws. We have to repent. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.